for all you rioters out there in the downtown Baltimore area. I moved here from Iowa. I think this place is nice. You know what? You're proving me wrong. Just because the police did something to a friend of yours, I don't even know who the fuck this guy is. Nor do I care. What I do care about is that you are slowly moving your way around getting bigger. Instead of rioting, Peace Act, Gandhi, look at Gandhi for Christ's sake. He didn't like the way things were going, so he did something peaceful. He didn't eat. So why don't some of you lazy motherfuckers, why don't some of you motherfuckers stop stealing, stop throwing rocks at cops. I hate cops, all right? I myself, I hate them. They're assholes. All the ones in my hometown, assholes, except for one of them. I have been to jail multiple times, and I don't care what your thought process is. If this doesn't make sense to you, I don't care. This is a rant and a forewarning. I don't sleep very much. Not anymore. I haven't slept correctly in a couple months. I, you know why I don't sleep correctly? Because I was homeless. I had to protect my shit from idiots like you. And I'm forewarning you right now. If you come to this house and you start shit, I'm not afraid to take a fucking kneecap out. This is not a threat. This is not a promise. It's a forewarning that I'm protecting my family. These people are family to me. They, my ma, my pa, my fiance, her sister, the dogs. I am not afraid to use self-defense. Don't fuck with me. Don't just stop your shit. That's all I gotta say. Stop your shit. You guys are making me sleep with this under my pillow because I don't trust any of you. I don't trust you. Do you know why? Because stupid people do stupid shit. I'm a testament to that. It's time three. I'm a testament to that. I tried joining Jackass for Christ's sake. I've got no problem bashing my head into a wall. I've got no problems trying to swallow a hot chill, a fucking white pepper hole, a ghost pepper hole. Whole. I eat things that make you wish to God you had, wish to God you'd look make you look at your food and go this tastes great. Be thankful for what you have. Don't try to jump in other people's situations because of your stupidity. I don't even know if this kid was black or white. You know what's funny is if this is a white guy and if this is a white guy, I'm pretty sure all the African Americans wouldn't give a damn. And you know what? I don't care. Everyone is a little bit racist in one way or another. And the original meaning of the N-word. Now you got me started on a rant. Fuck you. This got me started on a rant. The original N-reasoning of the N-word was ignorant. We used that word back in the olden days because your ways were different than ours. To us, you were ignorant. So that's how that word started. So now whenever you assholes are using the N-word for your friends, you're calling your friends ignorant. It's not your word, okay? Give a shit about everybody, not just because of the color of their skin, okay? Not just, it's just stupid. Oh my God, a black guy got shot by a cop. Okay, cool, he's a guy. I don't care what your ancestors had to deal with. There's only a select few people of your race, a certain kind of people from your race that I can actually tolerate. And I know, I know this video is probably going to get everybody going, oh, Steve's anti-Semitic, blah, blah, blah. No, actually, I'm not. Some of my best friends are African American. Some of my best friends are Asians. I don't care. I treat everybody equally. You want to be a dumbass towards me, that's when my opinion of you will change. This video is to basically say, hey, find a different way. You know what? Look at, Dr. Look at Martin Luther King. Martin Luther King had ways of changing things. He did so peacefully. He had people tie themselves to fucking poles. It, it was peaceful rioting. It wasn't even rioting. It was standing up and for what you believe in. If you don't like what happened, go to the fucking police station of where this dude worked 
and have picket fence, have pickets, signs saying, get this a-hole arrested, you know? Have him be the one be arrested. Have him hold himself responsible. And for all you people that believe in God, I myself think he's a self-righteous asshole. Okay? God's a self-righteous asshole to me. But this situation, if you are a God-loving man, then you should understand rioting is not what you do. An eye for an eye leaves everyone blind. Meaning... You got your friend's eye. Uh, your friend is your eye. The uh, cop took your friend, your eye, out. Now you're sitting there taking an eye out of the cops. And you know what you're doing? Everybody else in between you that's trying to live their lives, you're causing problems for. It's stupid. It's just plain stupid. You know what? That's all I got to say. I'm ready for anybody that tries to start shit in this neighborhood. Come to what you want to start shit in this neighborhood, you better not have anything to do with like, this whole family that we have. Because we will get together and we will fight back. This is not a threat. This is not a promise. This is a video explaining why I don't feel what you're doing is right. And that I have defended myself. I have dealt with assholes like you before, and I am not putting up with it ever again. Never again will I be the weaker link. Never. Stop your shit. Stop it now.